Our episodes are brought to you by our awesome EDHCC club, aka the Patron Pledge Hammers. Thank you for making our content possible. If you'd like to support the channel and get some sweet bonuses, check out our Patreon link in the description below. Welcome to episode 204 of EDH Commander Challenge. I'm your host, BT. Before we start today's episode, I want to shout out my hometown of Montreal and Quebec in general for surviving the recent day-long ice storm on April 5th, which subsequently caused over 1 million people, including myself, to live without power and electricity for several days. It was crazy. I'm talking down trees everywhere, damaged vehicles, power lines, you name it. We didn't have something this bad, I think, since the ice storm of 1998 here in Montreal, which in all honesty was worse back then. I mean, we went weeks without power back in the day. And not to mention, if you think about it, there was ice, uh, dangerously long-lasting weather because it was snowstorms and so forth. This was just in the middle of April where the weather warmed up relatively quickly afterwards. I got my power back recently and I hope you all have as well. This experience taught me three things. One, my family and friends are super supportive in times of need. Two, we rely on tech a bit too much. And most important, three. I'm buying a tablet and loading it with a bunch of anime episodes, and then I'm gonna buy a bunch of backup batteries for everything I need in the future. Thank goodness I had my Nintendo Switch during this situation. <laughs> Anyways, let's go check out those opening hands. First, in this corner, with an opening hand of a swamp, Wayfarer's Bobble, Soul Ring, Feed the Swarm, Relentless Rats, Maronar, Rat Catcher, and his mono black general, Caromonix the Rat King. He is yours truly, the host, B.T. <laughs> Next, in this corner, with an opening hand of a forest, Treasure Vault, Elvish Mystic, Sundering Vitae, Carometris Acolyte, Seedborn Muse, Reason Believe, and a Simic style general, Coma Cosmos Serpent. He is one of our very own patrons and the unpredictable Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy won the dice roll to start us off, so let's begin today's card fight. For our first turns, Jimmy plays a forest and casts Elvish Mystic. While I play a swamp, and cast a turn one soul ring and wayfarer's bauble. Jimmy plays treasure vault and passes. During my upkeep, Jimmy casts sundering vitae to extinguish my soul ring. I respond by using the mana from it to sack my bauble to add a basic from my deck into play tapped. Then for my turn, I play another basic and cast Imperial Seal, paying two life to tutor a card to the top of my deck before passing. Jimmy plays Maze of Ith and casts Eternal Witness. With its ETB, he returns the Vitae from the graveyard to his hand. While for my turn, I play Cabal Coffers and use it for three mana to cast my general, Karumonix. With its ETB, I check my top five cards and add from them two copies of Relentless Rats to my hand and bottom the other cards. Jimmy plays Lumbering Falls tapped and passes. 
Well, for my turn, I cast Feed the Swarm to blow up Jimmy's Mystic, which deals me one damage. Then I move into combat, but remember Jimmy has Maze of Ith, and pass. Jimmy starts his turn by casting Reason, and scries three, bottoming all three cards. While for my turn, I cast Relentless Rats. Jimmy plays an island and casts Karametra's Acolyte and passes. I play a Swamp and use the Coffers for four mana and tap out to cast, well, another one and another one. I then move into combat and try to sneak some damage on Jimmy attacking with my two other creatures. But Jimmy blocks my general with his acolyte and uses his maze on my other creature before I pass. Jimmy starts his turn by casting Wilderness Reclamation, followed by Worldly Tutor. He places the creature card Morita the Forest on the top of his deck and passes untapping his lands during the end step via his Reclamation trigger. For my turn, I tap out to, well, you guessed it, another one, and another one. Then I move into combat and wave with my four attacking rats. Jimmy uses his maze to untap one relentless rat and then declares no blocks as my Relentless Rats are currently 6-6s, six Jimmy takes a total, along with my General, of 15 <laughs> damage and 3 poison counters before I pass. For Jimmy's turn, he casts his General, Coma, and passes, untapping his lands again. During my upkeep, Jimmy's Coma triggers making him a Coma's Coil token. Then I cast Maronar, giving all my rats fear, or in this case, pretty much unblockable. Then I move into combat, but Jimmy uses his general's effect to sack a serpent to tap down one of my relentless rats. Then I wave with all my creatures who can attack. Jimmy uses his maze to untap one rat, and is forced to take the rest, being 21 damage and four more poison counters before I pass. During Jimmy's upkeep, he gets another Comus Coil token. Then he casts Seedborn Muse and says he only needs to hold out until he gets a board wipe like Cyclonic Rift to take me down and passes. During my turn, Jimmy untaps all his permanents via Seedborn and gains another Coil token from his general. For my turn, I rinse and repeat and tap out, bringing out, you guessed it, another one, and another one. And as Jimmy can't block, I move into combat and win. Is what I'd be saying if Jimmy didn't cast Pongify on my Maronar. Well, in response, I use its effect to sacrifice a Relentless Rat to gain 8 1-1 Rat Tokens. Then his spell resolves, and I also gain a 3-3-8 token. I still continue my combat and attack with my 5-7-7 seven, seven Rats. Jimmy again uses his Maze of Ith on one of them, and then blocks the other four with his Coil Tokens, as well as his Seedborn, and witness before I pass. Looking for an answer, Jimmy sadly didn't draw a Cyclonic Rift. Due to being outnumbered with creatures and having a tiny life total, Jimmy is forced to scoop, giving me the win and allowing the rats to overrun his town. Not much to say here, 
Jimmy only needed a way to stall for time to stabilize his board. Mazevith and Pongify were nice options, but a Cyclonic Rift or even a more niche card like River's Rebuke would have turned the game in Jimmy's favor. Meanwhile, for me, Caramonix combined with my growing number of Relentless Rats quickly took control of the game. And imagine if I drew a card like, say, Coat of Arms or Thrumming Stone early on. My field would have been more terrifying than the Rat King from the Last of Us series. Oh, ew, 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 never mind. I don't even want to picture that boss. Moving on. You agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you enjoy our content, consider becoming a patron. Give you access to some sweet extras like bonus entries into our giveaways, your nickname in the EDHCC club, and so much more. Also, if you don't mind, please smash the like and subscribe buttons. As I'm still trying to reach my goal of 2,000, I'm so close. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you all so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Until we meet again, stay warm, stay safe, and keep on, keep on card gaming. Love you all, and cheers.